Well, now to more on the disturbing smash and grab tr- crime trend we've been telling you about. Now causing some Black Friday shoppers to think twice before stepping foot into high-end retailers in major cities. NBC's Aaron McLaughlin has the very latest from Los Angeles. Aaron, good morning to you. Good morning, Kristen. For many retailers, Black Friday is the most important shopping day of the year. But here in California, some stores aren't in a festive mood as a crime wave takes hold of some of the state's most popular shopping destinations. This morning, amidst the Black Friday frenzy, retail stores and shoppers across California on edge. So it is kind of scary. And the fact that this has happened now makes me wonder if I should even walk in there. Following a string of so-called smash-and-grab robberies, striking retail stores across the state. Wednesday night outside Los Angeles, suspects attacked a department store security guard, snatching $25,000 worth of high-end purses. They attacked him with some kind of a caustic chemical. After the initial suspect attacked the security guard, additional suspects entered the location and removed a number of high-value, uh, high-dollar purses. Down the sidewalk! Criminals seen using similar tactics in the heart of San Francisco. And in a nearby suburb, organized shoplifting crews breaking into high-end retailers, grabbing merchandise, and fleeing as a cluster of getaway cars block traffic. An estimated $200,000 worth of merchandise gone in a matter of minutes. I saw people running down the street. I probably saw 50 to 80 people in like ski masks, crowbars, night, like a bunch of weapons. Many of the robberies orchestrated authorities believe by criminal masterminds who stay far away from their crimes. They're paying the individuals to do the robberies. They collect the goods and then fence them and move them to other parts of the country. And the situation is getting worse. In 2020, the state saw more than five times the number of investigations into organized retail crime compared to 2019. Designer clothes and handbags now among the top targets. According to law enforcement officials, California is now home to three of the nation's top 10 cities for organized retail theft. You're a holiday shopper in California. How concerned should you be about this? I think people need to keep their wits about them. Don't flash cash. Keep your purse uh, in two hands or close to your body under your coat. At the sign of uh, trouble, uh, loud noise, cars where they don't belong, uh, get off the sidewalk, get off the street. Now, we don't really know why this is happening now. Some law enforcement are pointing to legislation that reclassified some felony theft offenses as misdemeanors. Others are pointing to copycats and the Internet. Many of these stolen goods end up for sale on fringe websites. Guys, the video is just so incredibly disturbing. Aaron, thank you for that. And coming. 